Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemidge and welcome to day 16 of Vita, vlog every day April. And with the end of this video, we are the majority of the way through technically. I'm taking it. I recorded a Vita earlier and decided I wasn't happy with it, so here I am at after 9 o'clock trying again. Now on my channel, I've made the occasional mention of video games being used to assist with mental health. As means of exposure therapy, as means of a coping mechanism, as means of escapism. Now, just like anything else, it can be a good thing, and too much can be a bad thing. And yes, there is a such thing as too much video games, just like there's a thing as too much water. Back a few years ago, I was briefly living with someone who asked to stay with me for a short while that wound up dragging on to half a year. They were afflicted by depression, and their entire means of dealing with it was to sit there and play League of Legends for hours upon hours on end. Now this was a very consuming habit. Not, not even escape is not even a hobby, I have it. I remember one time when I was working on day shifts, I was on my way to bed. He had the day off next day, so he was staying up until whatever the crap hour he decided. And this is when Shadow was still a small puppy. Now because Shadow was rather restless at this time and age, I had put him in his crate to let him calm himself while I went to bed. And I asked the individual who was living with me to let the dog out 10-20 minutes after I had gone to bed. He said no problem. I woke up a couple of hours later from the dog having a small fit and I got concerned so I came out to look. And he was having a fit because he was still in his crate and needed to pee. So I turned to the individual and asked why is the dog still in here? He's like, you can go to bed that long ago, he just started wigging out. And I told him, I've been in bed for about two hours now. And this is just one of the examples of the way where it was clearly a problem with his engaging this game. Another night I went to bed and he was in his room playing and because a game did not go the way he wanted to, he took the desk that his computer was sitting on, I don't know if he did it while it was on it, but he took the desk and he flipped it over, literally. He even admitted to doing so. And this was not a desk that was his, this was a desk that was lent to him. There are a variety of things that can cause someone to fall to game compulsion. Be it a need for self-validation, be it the only place that you can find any sort of solace, be it power fantasy or just general escapism. If these are your only means of finding solace in difficulty, then you are not living healthily. Now I will say the same thing for any sort of compulsion, be it narcotics, alcohol, gambling, what have you. There is a healthy level of activity engagement, and there is an unhealthy level of activity engagement. And if you are so embroiled in this activity that it defines you, or you cannot take it when things do not go your way, it is inherently an unhealthy engagement. Now no, I say that is the engagement that is unhealthy, it is not the activity, it is not the substance. If this is yourself or somebody you know, you have to be able to be honest with, especially yourself if it's you, that this is a problem. It's very important to find balance to allow you to function in life overall. You're not going to get better overnight. You have to be able to admit that. You have to be able to accept that. Everyone wants that quick fix and there is no such thing when it comes to these matters. Lifestyle changes are slow and take effort and take dedication. So once again, another serious matter on my channel here and hopefully that's not driving too many people away, but Hopefully, you'll find something better here tomorrow. So until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you soon. This is the buckets. She has gotten very obese. She did not seem to appreciate being called that.